Hey, this is Steve with Outdoor Nuggets. I saw this uh, idea. A guy made a similar version of a tent heater uh, like this one out of an ammo box. Um, one of the comments he made was that his uh, inlet and the outlet for the air for the furnace inside was not big enough. So he could only uh, burn like four candles and he five candles would actually go out because there wasn't enough oxygen supporting the burn of the candles so um, I found this um, I did not use um, automotive exhaust pipe um, for the inlet and the outlet for the uh, air for the furnace um, I did use automotive exhaust pipe here which is the part that's actually going to be heated by a little uh, butane camp stove and also found a Bunsen burner type uh, propane burner that you would use in a uh, chemistry class or chemistry lab and uh, the price for the outdoor um, um, stove uh, the, little, the little Bunsen stove uh, is the same as the uh, propane Bunsen burner of course the outdoor stove you can set a pot on if you wanted to um, whereas the Bunsen burner is not designed to do that. It's just designed to be a little flame under something that you want to heat. So I'm, I'm probably going to change it to the Bunsen burner style element so I could connect the single burner to a large propane tank and have plenty of fuel for extended use. Uh, I'd have to go collect any uh, firewood uh, just to be comfortable. Uh, could um, have the uh, cook stove handy um, if I want to use it for cooking but if I just want heat which is typically what I use my wood stove for I could use this and this gives me a safe vented um, either butane or propane uh, heater that does not give off any gases or fumes inside the living area and does not consume any of the oxygen inside the living area just you just get heat it heats this element here which is sealed off and I'm planning on putting more uh, JB weld on the inside of all the fittings so it'll be really bomber um, let's see I was gonna put in like a computer a 12 volt fan here but I don't even think that's gonna be necessary I, I mean it would circulate more air so I might try it at some point I might just try putting um, a fan. I have a rechargeable um, USB rechargeable fan that runs all night and I could put that fan uh, on this uh, element. I mean I, I could position it so it would blow air up through the tube and um, that would that would work really well uh, just circulating air in the room. So um, yeah there's it's hard to tell what actually needs to be done until I use it. Um, I cut this uh, opening for stove glass. I found a place that'll cut uh, tempered glass. Um, I was told by a stove shop that I don't really need the ceramic glass because th this is not going to get up around the six or eight or 11, or whatever the crazy hot stoves get that need ceramic glass. So a stove shop recommended that I just get a couple of pieces of uh, Temper glass cut and polished, or they polish they uh, polish the edges so it doesn't it's not sharp, um, and it's not near as expensive as ceramic glass. But I was gonna open the uh, uh, trying to open the the latch. Dang, it's a lot tighter because I jammed all the um, I jammed all the fiberglass uh, stove door insulation. Uh, in the groove so it's closing a lot tighter now I put two layers of the uh, door insulation around there I uh, just wanted to have a nice tight seal and you can see the stainless steel uh, washers that I put in place and the um, I have a little bitty lock washer under the net so it won't get loose and then I'm planning on I've got some high temperature sealant to put around the perimeter uh, where the glass will go and I'm going to put it on the outside edge the very outside edge so you won't see any of the sealant 
when the glass is put in place from the front you won't see any of the sealant and I'm probably going to put some sealant under the washers simply so they will cushion the metal against the glass and uh, yeah and then I want to put legs uh, on this maybe have it 24 to 36 inches off of the floor and then this inlet will have three inch closed dryer duct going to it bringing in fresh air from outside and then I've already got the um, the section of um, galvanized this is all galvanized I could have gone with aluminum but I didn't want to go that lightweight so this is galvanized and that's galvanized and this is actual uh, automotive exhaust pipe two and a half inch uh, 90 degree elbow elbow that I picked up at uh, O'Reilly's for 10 bucks so the box was 20 this piece was 10 these are about five and some change each so it's like 10 for the pair and I had 18 dollars in I think it was the larger tubes of the original JB Weld and I still got some left um, I like to put some around the perimeter I think I'm gonna have to get a little more JB Weld because I want to do inside really well uh, so it just makes it as sturdy as it's going to be with JB Weld and then I want to clean it up real good and paint it I'll take out the stainless hardware so I don't get paint on that. It'll look real nice uh, black. I got 1200 degree stove paint. Um, the sealant that I got, the gasket maker is rated at like 2000 degrees. I got a little tube of it for like four bucks or something. So this is going to be a really neat uh, space heater. Really safe, compact. Um, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's going to have some ambiance. Um, that's the reason I wanted either 24 to 36 inches off the floor. So it's nice just to, if you're sitting around in your space, you have this nice ambiance of a fire, uh, kind of like a fireplace, gas fireplace. Well, I hope that helped you. Uh, I, I cut all the holes with, I used a drill to start the holes. You can see there where it's kind of round. And I used a bimetal jigsaw blade. Uh, I used one blade to cut all the holes so I didn't mess up a blade. It's fairly soft metal if it can handle all that. I even cut through um, this heavier uh, latch metal with the jigsaw blade. No problem. I cut through the handle. No problem. This was kind of a double plate um, around the lid. That was no problem. Uh, yeah, uh, it's pretty easy to put together. I'm really glad I saw this. This sure beats the heck out of a, a little buddy heater. And these, this style heater, if you look at this search a little bit on Google for a vented tent heater, they're very expensive. I mean, they're like five, six hundred bucks. It's crazy. So this is a definitely a more interesting option than uh, most of the prefab stuff you see online. Hope that helped you. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.